assalamu alaikum friends i hope you are enjoying your life our today's lecture is about syntax and we are going to start about its introduction so let's move to our first slide syntax studies the level of linguistics organization that mediates between sound and meanings however words are organized into phrases and sentences according to carney 2013 syntax involves the two related tasks first one is breaking down the sentence into its constituent and second one is assigning some grammatical labels to each constituent and stating what type of constituent or grammatical category it is and what grammatical function it has and the third one is the concept of structure is fundamental to the study of syntax in the last slide we have talked about syntax and we define it comprehensively but now we are going to talk about syntax analysis syntactic analysis syntactic structures analyze linguistics expression into their constituent secondly it identifies the categories of those constituents and the last one is it determines their functions in syntax syntactic structure and analysis we study words their grammatical categories and function by analyzing sentence structure we analyze sentence structure through constituent phrases and clauses constituent is a group of words that functions together as a unit the component part of the sentence are called constituent constituent are connected together to make complete sentence for example the student love his phonology reading in this sentence the, sen the students is constituent which can be shown through tree diagrams or putting square brackets around the units phrases are sequence of words that can function as constituent in the structure of sentence for example old sam sun bathed beside a stream in this sentence old sam is a phrase sun bathed is another phrase and beside is again phrase a stream is another phrase phrases are represented through tree diagram by marking which sequence of words in a sentence are its constituent phrase syntactic tree diagrams are more specifically called phrase markers group of two or more words usually related in meaning but with no subject and verb combination are called phrase phrases are group of two or more words usually related in meanings but with no subject and verb combination it cannot turn into sentence because of lacking subject and verb for example leaving behind the dog before the first test between ignorance and intelligence these are the group of words or you can call the constituent but not complete sentence because it doesn't have any subject and verb so we can call them phrases clauses are also group of words but it has subject and verb for example because she smiled at him we went to the movies last night 
she smiled subject and verb both are given in this sentence similarly we went to the movies subject and verb both are present here classes have four main types main class subordinate class relative class and noun we will discuss all of them in another lecture in the last couple of slides we have talked about phrases and clauses now let's talk about the difference between these two terms phrases do not have subject and verb in contrast clauses have subject and verb phrases cannot stand alone as complete sentence however clauses can stand alone as complete sentence phrases do not give complete meaning in contrast clauses gives complete meanings phrases are the complement of the overall structure of a sentence but clauses are the complete sentences thank you for watching please like share and subscribe this channel for more interesting and informative videos about language and linguistics